now we'll take a look at the sign convention and i will first talk of the sign convention for mirrors and then actually the same uh, rules are used for a lens so let's say you have a spherical mirror or con a concave mirror this is the reflecting side and this is the non the shaded part is the non reflecting side and this is the direction of incident light so if you have an object placed over here then you can draw one ray parallel to the principal axis this is the principal axis and this passes to the focus this is the point f and this is called p the pole of the mirror the center of the mirror and you if you have another ray which is through the center of curvature i have placed this object beyond c then the ray is incident on the mirror and it reflects back now why does it reflect back it reflects back because it is incident it is a case of normal incidence so if a if a ray strikes a mirror normally perpendicularly then it goes back because the angle of incidence is zero so the angle of reflection is also zero now coming back to what we were doing over here we are taking a look at the sign convention so and this is the image which is formed over here the distance from the pole of the mirror to the object let's say this is o this distance is represented by u and the distance of the image this is the image from the mirror this distance is represented by v and the focal length the distance fp is represented by f small f now let's see what are the sign conventions that we will use so for this i'll i'll just take say you have this coordinate axis something that you normally use in maths and you know that if this is zero so this is sorry so if this is zero then you know that this is the positive side so you have 1 2 3 etc this is the positive side and this is the negative side above you have positive and below this you have negative so if this is x and this is x prime and this is y and y prime you know x in the direction of x you have distances measured as positive now here we are using you can think of this as we are using the same convention now i'll just take a different color and i'll draw the coordinate axis over here so now this is x and this is y and this is the origin o so if this is so i've drawn this coordinate axis like this so if this is o which is the pole of the mirror p and you have the focal length you want to measure the focal length the distance fp now you can see that this is on the negative side these values are negative so in this case the value of f will be negative the value of u will also similarly be negative because it is being measured on the to the left of the origin so u is also negative 
and V. In this case, the image is formed on this side of the mirror. So, this distance is also negative. So, V is also negative. In this particular case that I have taken, all values are negative. You could also have a positive value if you have an image formed behind the mirror. So, now we will do a numerical where we will apply the sign convention. In this case, an important point for you to remember is the direction of the incident light. The direction of this is the direction of the incident light from left to right. So, all distances in this direction will all be positive and all distances measured in the opposite direction. All distances measured in the opposite direction will be negative. Now let's try a numerical. Let's say for the concave mirror over here, you have an object U which is, you have an object and U is let's say 10 centimeters. And uh, the radius of curvature is given as 15 centimeters. So I am doing this solved example from your book. So if the radius of curvature is 15 centimeter, that means the focal length is half the radius of curvature, which will be 7.5 centimeters. You have to find out the image distance. Now, if the focal length of the lens is 7.5 and the object is placed at 10 centimeter, which means it is placed between it is placed between C and F. The radius of curvature is 15 and the object is at 10. So it is between C and F. Now, to find out the uh, value of the image distance, you use the formula for the mirror, which is 1 by V plus 1 by U is equal to 1 by F. When we use this formula, we will put U, the object distance you know is negative because it is measured in this direction. So, this is minus 10 centimeter the focal length is also negative so you put a negative sign 7.5 centimeter and you can calculate and find out what is v now if you put in the values over here and find out the value of v it comes out to be minus 30 centimeters now what does this mean what does the negative sign mean the negative sign means the image is formed on this side, on the same side as the object. So, which means you will have an inverted image. If an image is formed on the same side as the object, the image will be a inverted image. And the magnification in this case, M is equal to you have a negative sign over here so minus v by u in the question that we were solving the value of u was negative 10 centimeters and the value of v that we found found out was minus 30 so the magnification will be you have a negative sign and this is v by u so minus 30 by minus 10 which means you get negative 3 right so now what does the negative sign over here denote the negative sign denotes that the object and the image are in opposite directions Coming back again to the Cartesian sign convention, above the axis, above the principal axis, values are positive, 
and below the principal axis all distances are negative. So a value of negative 3 over here denotes that you have a real image and an inverted image and the image is on the same side as the object. So you need to keep in mind one is the mirror formula which is 1 by V plus 1 by U equals 1 by F. Magnification has a negative sign in it. The mirror formula has a positive sign and this has a negative sign. So minus V by U. And the other thing is the sign convention if you look at it if you have the light incident from this side then all distances measured beyond O will be positive. All distances measured to this side will be negative. All distances above the axis positive. All distances below the axis negative. Now just listening to this video will not really help you too much. You need to do two things. One is get a notebook and write down. First pause the video and try and recall what did you learn today. See how much are you able to write. Go back to the video, repeat it a number of times till you are able to write down everything that is done in this video. The second thing is try and teach someone. That's the best way to learn yourself because the person will ask you so many questions that you'll be sure of what you are teaching them. Thank you.